Y'all decided to come back. Y'all decided to watch another video. It's all over me. Favor all over me. Grace all over me. Well, welcome to the diary. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a skincare routine if you guys haven't read the title. So, my skin right now, I've been trying to fix it and all of this is from touching my face so it really has nothing to do with like my skincare it's just me touching my face and picking at it but besides that you guys could tell it's pretty clear the only thing is i just have dark spots or like blemish marks because of picking at my skin I'm not a professional i don't know this just works for my skin i have oily and kind of dry skin i live in colorado and it's super dry here i'm just gonna be showing you guys what i use real quick i use the CeraVe. Um, renewing SA cleanser exfoliates while softening and smoothing the skin non-drying non irritating I had this other thing but um, I don't use it anymore and this is like my sister's old thing and it really helps my skin so I just started using it but this is a benzoyl peroxide with a 5% gel and I use a little bit of this I use this I, it's a vanity painted brush but literally it stopped working I literally put new batteries in it and I don't understand but I still use this because I hate washing my face with my hands like it just makes me mad and it's a mess for moisturizer I use the dual action moisturizer with celiac acid and acne medication and it's oil free then I also use a facial moisturizing lotion from the CeraVe collection and it has it's AM 30 SPF sometimes on my skin if I want to make it look like shiny and like smooth and stuff like that I highly 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 recommend this and this is the Johnson Shea and Cocoa Butter oil gel um, and it locks in up to 10 times more moisture and it just like makes my skin feel so and it smells good first of all it makes my skin feel so soft and third of all it like kind of gives it a shine i don't use a lot of it because it is oil and i already have oily skin but i just use a little bit and um sometimes mix it in with my moisturizer and it just it's great so yeah but also i use this when i get out the shower and put it all over my body and it smells like i said so good and does the job even after exfoliating and shaving just put this on regardless every single day. It's a it's a necessity. Alright, now let's get into the actual routine. Oh, I have y'all on um a picture frame, two face thingies, a container, and a hair product thing. I have like three or four tripods and I still decide just to build my own out of random stuff around the house. Okay, so I was talking a lot as you can tell, but I usually just wash my hands to begin with because like washing your hands before you touch your skin or anything with your skin is very important to do so after i do that if i took a shower with hot water then i skipped this step but i didn't so i get the towel wet in hot water or like warm water to open up my pores and i kind of just like let it sit on my face for a few minutes and i move from area to area just to you know like i said open up my pores <laughs> So then after that, I grab my vanity planet brush and I um, put cold water over it. And then after that, I put a little bit of the SA cleanser on there and I start to, you know, just brushing it on my face. Like I said, it usually would spin by itself, but um, there's something wrong with it. So when I'm done doing that, with the rest of the product, I kind of just like splash my face with cold water. And then I take a paper towel and I wet it with cold water and then dab it on my face. And then take another paper towel and just dab it on my face to dry my face because I like how paper towels are like absorb you know and it's just like a better way for me instead of using like a whole other towel if that makes any sense i don't know but i i, I just do it like that three steps i'm just going to explain now i first used the ointment um that it was the benzoyl peroxide and i just used a little bit of that and i dab it on my face so i do like two dabs per uh side of my face which you guys will see and then i also use the moisturizer so i was today i mixed the spf survey moisturizer with the dual action 
moisturizer and i only use two squirts of the dual and then one of the um, spf survey one because uh, um the sunscreen one is kind of thick and it will leave residue on your face if you add too much so that's why i just added a little bit and then after i did that i used the baby the oil the um shea butter oil on my skin and you guys will see that i only use a little bit and i just rub it in my face kind of wanted to show you guys in the sun but this is how my skin is looking like i said we got some marks but besides that like right here is so pretty and then there's this i also have these pimple patches that i actually ran out of that i was putting on these little um spots to take all the stuff to take all like the um, bacteria and all the pus out and it really helped. Got a better understanding on what I do to take care of my skin. A uh, consist consist taking care of your skin is just being like uh, I hate when I look super oily, but it's that shine for me. Um consistency and do you know waking up in the morning um cleaning your skin and not forgetting not not forgetting but not being lazy and not um and deciding not to do it at night so make sure you guys are doing that i promise consistency with your skin is just gonna make you feel so beautiful like when i have clear skin in the summer like literally it lasts in the summer like that's when i get my clear skin because i'm literally not stressed about school like it, the sun is just beautiful and i'm just chilling chilling but um and i don't have a lot of work to do or nothing like that so i feel like i can like be more consistent with stuff so this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it and all i gotta say is i love you guys so much i appreciate you guys uh, for watching my videos for you just loving me and um and just following this journey with me on hitting 100 subscribers um that is the goal hopefully by august i have 100 subscribers so make sure like i'm not trying to force nothing like i just want this channel to be fun to be um like a diary like i said diary of a mixed kid where i could just express my feelings and just show you guys like my life and show you guys some of the things that i do i just want to help you guys and help myself grow and become better and all that stuff and that's pretty much like <laughs> why i like this is why this is why I made this channel. I have another channel if you guys don't know is Tamika Williams and I make entertaining videos on there so like public interviews or like challenges or videos with my friends and so um having this channel makes it a lot more personal so I could like talk on things and just express, you know, how I feel. So, um yeah, I got to say it's good luck girlies.